be shy Cause I Life won't bring you down too far Andrew McCart, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm very delighted to be joined by WBO Super Featherweight World Champion, Eva Brochnitska. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I tried my best, I tried my best. Um, first and foremost, Eva, how are you? I'm okay, I'm perfect. I just moved to new flat, so it's a lot of... Uh, you know, action around, but uh, I'm, I have good camp, you know, in Warsaw uh, and uh, just, you know, feel perfect. <laughs> feel perfect. Well, let's talk about feeling perfect because you've got a mandatory challenger in Michaela Meyer coming up. Now, yeah. I'm hearing that it's going to be in October. I guess yeah, October. Um, just talked about Michaela and the fight itself. Do you have any idea where this fight will take place? Um, it uh, takes place probably in uh, Las Vegas on the end of the October. I move um, on, the F on the end of the September with my coach uh, to Florida, Vero Beach, because uh, uh, in Warsaw we're training now with my coach from USA. It's uh, just uh, Gus Curran, you know. So we back to Florida on the end of October and I want to be, you know, ready um, accommodation, you know, because it's jet lag, so I don't want to have any problem with the weight, um, to be, you know, tired. I don't want to travel one week before the fight. I want to be like one month before the fight for be ready and to give the good show, you know. Let's talk about Michaela. Then Michaela's, she's making a lot of noise on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Like, she wants to be a world champion, and it looks like she's going to show up when it comes against somebody against you. Um, what kind of fight are you expecting? Are you expecting a tough, tough fight against Michaela? Yeah, of course. It's a very good opponent. She's good technical, you know, uh, with um, some good combination. I know she do a lot of noise, you know, on Twitter. I just don't respond so much because I want to be sure that this fight is going to happen. And I didn't know if I fight with Harper or with Michaela Meyer. So now I know that it will be Michaela. I'm very happy. It's my dream come true because I want to do the fight in USA. So in Las Vegas, perfect. Maybe just after the fight, I do some crazy, you know, marriage <laughs> in Las Vegas. Uh, so the, the fight will be, you know, tough. Uh, she's a very good opponent, but I think she never um, fight in, a, in her pro career with uh, somebody good like me. We are on the same, you know, high level and I expect very, very good fight. Um, plus of this, my uh, coach and her coach uh, in the past was in China, so they know each other, and it would be also a fight between the you know the coaches. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your, what, all going well against Michaela? Do you have? I think Eddie Hearn signed you at the beginning of August. Now I think Eddie signed you because I think he wanted you to face Terry Harper. Um, yes. Is that something? Exactly. Is, is that something? If you beat or when you beat Michaela Meyer? in October. Is that a fight you'll be looking for next? Is something like Terry Harper? Mm, I hope that uh, the that, uh, next fight will be with Harper, you know. Um, if, I, if I, you know, I'm sure I win with uh, Michaela Meyer and after I'm looking forward to, to get another belt, you know. It's, it would be a very exciting fight, not only about, you know, win fight, but about, you know, few belts. So I think it's the dream of every fighter. Uh, and I'm very, very appreciate that I signed contract with uh, Eddie Hearn. It's uh, big successful. And now in Poland, I'm just one, you know, boxer who has the world uh, title. So it's uh, it's big, you know, promotion for us. So for uh, female boxing, it's it's good time for the woman in the sport. It definitely is. Women's boxing is is flying at the moment. You must have yeah. seen Eddie Hearn shows with Terry Harper, Natasha Jonas, Kate Taylor, uh, Delphine Persoon. Yes. I mean, and now you and Michaela Meyer. I mean, it's it's. I'm I'm sure that you and Michaela are going to put in a great fight. Yeah, you know, it's like in uh, so UFC, you know, they do a so, uh, fight, a uh, woman fight, and it's um, the, the woman can sell, you know, Ara, and I'm sure in boxing now is the perfect moment. It's a lot of very uh, good, you know, fighters. Uh, when I started seven years ago in Poland, 
wasn't, you know, a lot of girls and everybody thinking, oh, nobody want to see this. And now you see it's Las Vegas, it's in UK, it's uh, the, the girls doing, you know, the best fight. So I'm very happy that it's, it's happened, you know. Well, you're fighting in Las Vegas. It's sort of in America. Michaela Meyer is American, but there's going to be no yeah. fans. There's going to be no fans at the arena. Is that going to help you, do you think, being that there's no fans there? I think it's it's some plus for me because uh, for sure if uh, it's uh, you know a lot of spectators they they but you know in in USA you're living a lot of Polish you know for Polish people so I'm sure that also uh, would be Polish fans but for me it doesn't matter if it will be you know full area or not probably will be without spectators um, you, we are only together you know face to face and we have to give the best performance and it's it's not you know not important. For me. Michaela Maya has proven that she's a very, very good boxer. She's an Olympian. Yeah. You know what I mean? So for you to get the Terry Harper fight or anything like that, do you need to go out there and put on a dominating performance against Michaela? Uh, of course, we have some game plan, but I can't tell you which one. <laughs> but we have very good game plan. Uh, she's good technical, but you know, I think she's slower than me. She has um, mm, not so good legs, you know. Um, and we have a very good plan. Gus Karen is, is the best on this. And I trust him and I feel, you know, feel very comfortable. Uh, we're doing every time on the gym, you know, some good game playing. Uh, ah, it's very important. I, you know, normally I have all time a big problem with uh, get the weight, you know, with lose the weight. And now I'm just perfect. Uh, it's, it's going very easy for me. So I want to be, you know, in very good shape. I don't want to struggle myself just in front of the fight, you know, lost some kilograms, water. So I will be in the best shape of my life because it's my chance. I fight for everything, for championship, for, uh, for you know, huge, huge moment in my life. Right now, we've, we've got um, Katie Taylor, who's undisputed world champion. We've got Clarissa Shields, undisputed world champion. Yeah. Is it a dream of yours to become undisputed? Well, oh, might be a stupid question, yeah. but is it a dream to become undisputed? Yeah, it's it's my it's it's my dream. Yes, exactly. Um, if I win with Michaela after I take the um, Terry Harper, and we will see what's what's going on. But uh, yeah, it's it's my dream, of course. <laughs> You're fighting in America against Michaela. Again, if you beat Michaela, are you happy to come to London to fight Terry Harper? Oh, yeah. You know, I never, never visit the London. And uh, I'm so sorry for me. And I, I want to I wanna fight and visit the London. So it, it would be great, you know, to come to London. I've got, I've got to ask you. How is the weather in London? Because in Poland, start to be now, you know, finish the, the summer. <laughs> it's all, always raining in London. Always raining. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, I take big umbrella. <laughs> yeah, I take a big umbrella. That's or a rain jacket. I'm I'm from Scotland, so it always rains here too. So okay, okay. And <laughs> um, did, did you watch my, Did you watch Terry Harper versus Natasha Jonas? Yeah, and I was very surprised. You know, I watch uh, in front of the TV, and I thinking that Jonas uh, will be in the worst shape, you know, and Harper just, you know, technical dominate her. So I was surprised. Really, Jonas have done very good fight, you know, very close fight. And uh, the, the girls, you know, put all heart and was good shots, you know. I think everybody was surprised, you know, a lot of blood, a lot of sh shot. And one time Jonas was, you know, like almost knocked down after Terry Harper. So very exciting and emotional fight. You, who won? It was a draw, but who did you think won? Yeah, it was a draw, but I'm silent. It was a draw. <laughs> <laughs> the judge decided it was a draw, you know. It's, it's good coming on, you know, on both sides, you know. Probably they they judge better for the champ because normally, you know, it's, it's going more better on the champ. Definitely. Right, Abe, one final question. Just let us know, the fans that are watching this interview just, uh, just now, when they put it out, um, what kind of fight can they expect from you against Michaela in October? Do you have a date? Is it October 17th? Uh, I think it's October 24, you know, oh. what I know. Oh. Yeah. So, um, all of fans that are around the world, I, I think it will be a very exciting fight. Two girls, one brunette, <laughs> one blondie. 
uh, the same, you know, tall, um, what I want to be world champion. Um, me, I don't want to give back my belt. So I think it will be exciting. So on the wagon, you know, we do all the best and uh, watch this fight because I give all my heart. Eva, thank you so much. That's a great way to end this interview. Thank you. thank you so much for your time and I hope you move into your new flat and you can uh, enjoy yeah. your dogs. We've got three dogs running around just now. So. Yeah, three dogs and a very big mess, you know, around. I will not show you more, but here is the Chihuahua. It's the smaller dog, but very aggressive. Very aggressive. <laughs> they all are. Chihuahuas are aggressive. Michaela, again, yeah. thank you so much. and uh, good Thank luck. you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right now we're quite like home, there ain't no way quite